The cold open is the what we call the thing that runs before the main open of the show that we do every day, behind the scenes little thing. Okay, three. Wait, do you need my nutsack for this? I do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay. This is the audience. Hi. The ladies up there have a squirrel matching t-shirt set, so we thought it would be perfect uh, to give them some of photographer Eric's nut collection. Uh, right here. And in exchange for these lovely nuts, all the ladies have to say is, well, you know. One, two, three. Roll the open. <laughs> Come on, you all got nuts, and only one of you said, roll the open? Here we go. Have a seat. Save your energy. We have an hour. I said if I was going to do TV, because I was never not going to be myself. Where are the people who are a little bit different? You're sitting next to one on the couch. So let's just say that. Be yourself, but not too much of yourself. Hi, everybody. Look at you. Happy St. Patty's Day weekend. Thank you. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. It is, uh, it is the weekend. Audience, are we ready for the weekend? Yeah. We, oh, as I almost fall there. There we go. Well, and that, I swear to I'm not drunk on green beer yet. I swear. I just did a little. But seriously, though, it is St. Patrick's Day weekend. Half of the audience is already drunk. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> They're all kind of wondering which side is it? So who is it? Like it's uh, absolutely the right side of the audience. It's absolutely over there. Yeah. Anyway, by the way, uh, depending depending on how much they clap throughout the show, we will get them green beer by the time they leave. That's right. <laughs> And if Fox HR is watching, that's a complete joke. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Cue the music, Leo. Let's start the show. Look at you. You look nice. I look nice. Yeah. A, it's Frisky Friday. It's Frisky Friday, yeah. Friendly is that, Friday. Is that what you guys celebrate in your house? Oh, or yes. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, how's it's it going? It's a once a week thing. Yeah. How's it going? Thank you for doing this. Uh, Kendall's not feeling well, yeah. and at the last minute, our, uh, our friend Stephanie was doing a segment anyway today. Uh, you were gracious enough uh, yes. to do it. Yeah. Put so. on my regular clothes. I even found an apron today in your closet because I forgot mine. Oh. Do you remember, like, a year ago, I left one here, and I said, I'm just going to leave this here. Just in case? Yeah. Today this is one of those just, just in, case. in case days. Yes. Can I tell you? Yeah. Uh, I, we have talked about this audience. I, and now that we're basically a couple months before the end of the TV season, if I was to, were to make a list of my top 10 shows of the year, like just network, and it aired, uh, airs on Thursday, I just want to say it again. I love Next Level Chef. I am oh. loving that show. I am not always, thank you front row. You can go ahead and clap, yeah. I'm not always, I'm not always a food yeah, show kind of really person. it's really exciting though. It's a great, and, and it's on Fox, and, and I like the Gordon Ramsay universe. I love, I love restaurant, or I love uh, kitchen nightmares. This is just so well produced. It's exciting, there's a game show element to it. I believe the players are actually really good and inventive. It has all the, it's one of his best shows. It's one of Gordon Ramsay's best shows. I'm just gonna say it. Yeah, yeah it really is. It was on. I watched it last night. 
Ellie is a big, my daughter Ellie watches it, and it's based on like a Korean show that was similar that they adapted a little bit. She's crazy about it. Yeah, the platform moves, and the contestants have to basically knock each other out to try to get to the platform to grab ingredients, and oh, it was just, and you never know what they're going to be able to grab or what's left by the time it gets to the basement. This one guy this last week had to uh, cook lamb heart. Ooh. I wouldn't even know. How do you make, like, you, I, I said to Colin, I go, what do you do, like, make nuggets out of it? Or what do you do? I wouldn't even know where to start oh. with a lamb heart. What would you, okay, let's say that you write, let me just quiz you. Oh, okay. You, you, the only it. protein you got was lamb heart. What would you do with it? I'd make a pate. I'd like oh. boil it and chop it and blend it and add things to it to make it light and fluffier. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. There is a challenge in this week's episode about shellfish. If you could only grab, if you, because one of them's difficult, if you would grab lobster or prawns, which one would you grab? Prawns. It's easier, right? It's easier and you could make a more flavorful broth with the shells. Yeah. See, look at her. Yeah. We kind of do this on Taste Buds that we had that panic pantry where you have to like open up a pantry and cook someone a meal. Yeah. That's it's what this hard. is. And the woman, and I love the woman that grabbed the lobster, and I'm screaming at the TV, no! Because it's really hard to do lobster well, and she didn't do it well. She and undercooked it's kinda, it. It can be kind of chewy and flavorless, too. Within a minute. I mean, you can change it within a minute yeah. if you overcook it. It's a uh, uh, top, uh, next level chef on Fox on Thursday nights. Let's get started, everybody. Time for the hot dish. Let's do this. Well. We're in daytime TV. Uh, I hope there are no changes to this show, but get ready for some changes in daytime. Look, we're not going anywhere, but some people on CBS could actually be out of a job. This is so dishy. It all has to do with the news that I told you about last week, that new soap opera that CBS is developing called The Gates. The show is going to focus on a wealthy black family living in a posh gated community. Well, now... And I kind of hinted at this last week, but I, I didn't think about it too much. Now everyone's wondering where it's going to go on the schedule, because according to Radar Online, it could replace the talk. The show, hosted by our friend uh, Jerry O'Connell, Natalie Morales, and others, is, in fact, the lowest-rated show on CBS Daytime, and it also hasn't been renewed for a 15th season. Now, the rest of the CBS Daytime lineup is really strong right now. They have The Young and the Restless, The Bold and Kind of Beautiful, and then the game shows <laughs> Price is Right and Let's Make a Deal. Here's the deal. Uh, Price is Right is on fire, as it always is. Let's Make a Deal is up. And soap operas are having a moment. Ratings are not declining anymore. They're going up. People want to go back to those scripted stories and the episodic television. Escapism. That, yeah, just like the 80s, just like when we watched Alice and Knott's Landing. And yes, totally. And all my children, who can forget the moments with Luke and Laura? We want those again. Yeah. Well, that was General Hospital, but that's fine. It's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, Susan Lucci. Yeah. We want we want Erica Kane. Fine, thank you. I but, watched them all. That's right. Did you watch Knots and oh, Dallas? Oh, no, but I watched daytime soaps. Oh, okay, yeah. I mean, I did. A I little did. bit. I watched Dynasty more. I was Crystal Carrington. Okay. Kind of yeah. fancy. I get it. I, I can see that, yeah. Anyway, speaking of the talk, a funny moment on the show yesterday happened when they went, they went on. They had a power outage, and the show went on. Watch this. As we mentioned yeah. at the very beginning of the show, you might notice our set looks a little bit different today. <laughs> and our audience is a little bit uh, in the dark here. But they've got their glow sticks on. This was real. This was real. They, uh, they blamed weather for the power outage, outage. And as you can see, they gave the audience glow sticks. Um, <laughs> Okay. It's clever. Now, if it happened here, uh, you know, we're a smaller show. I can get it. You know what I mean? You are CBS. <laughs> that, that happened? Come on. Anyway, next up. It seems not many people are interested in seeing Jenny from the Block in concert because just weeks after J-Lo released her first album in 10 years, she's quietly canceling seven shows on her North American tour. Like, she's quietly doing this. The shows were removed from, why am I whispering? The shows were removed. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, J-Lo can still hear me. Uh, they were quietly removed from the tour website last week, this week rather, and fans were told they're going to get refunds. Variety says it's because of weak ticket sales. 30 other shows are still going on, but according to Ticketmaster, big chunks of those shows are unsold. Now, this comes after JLo's new album called This Is Me, colon, dot, 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 now, debuted at a disappointing number 38 on the Billboard 200 last month. I mean, Kids Rocks was number 14. Um, <laughs> Lopez self-financed the album tour in two movies. Uh, it was all about $20 million. Ooh. You know what she needs to do? What? She needs to be replacing Katy Perry on American Idol because Katy Perry's leaving this season and she could get a reboot with Luke and Lionel. She already did it. I think she just, she needs... JLo was already already did uh, American Idol when Idol was on Fox, and it was some of the best seasons. JLo, that's a great she idea, Hanson. She needs Hansen. to reinvent herself with this whole Ben Affleck. He could show up. It could be fun. No, I don't want him on that show. I don't want... <laughs> I, I love Ben, but enough, enough, enough. Aww. No, 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 no. Okay, fine. Bring a Dunkin' Donut and leave. It's fine. Just like, well. he can uh, he can chain smoke and have his sour face. Yeah. And don't want to be shirtless. That's fine. Just come on shirtless and then leave. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, we'll be right back. Back in a moment, everybody. birthday pen, a sash, and up to $20 of free play at Grand Casino. Look at them. We, I am just, our birthday club has been so much fun, and I love that people are kind of making it part of their day. They start yeah. here, and then they go off and have margaritas later, and it's just great. Yeah, yeah. So sign up. If it, Come see us. Go to eventbrite.com. Search for The Jason Show. It's very easy to get tickets. And then there's a little tab or something where you can say, hey, it's my birthday. And we'll give you a sash, and you know, sometimes we have strippers here. It's great. You know, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, only, oh, and by the way, the strippers are only Bjorn and Jeff. That's it. That's right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> and again, Leo, take camera five. HR, it's just a joke. Just a joke. It's a joke. Welcome back, everybody. More dish for you. Oprah Winfrey uh, was uh, hitting late night last night, on Thursday night, rather, stopping by Jimmy Kimmel Live. And even though she's one of the most famous women in the world, even Oprah has problems with airport security. Watch. <laughs> assistant forgot my passport <laughs> and I am stuck on the tarmac for seven and a half hours literally waiting on somebody to come and release me now they knew who I was because they were coming to take pictures with me like Oprah we want the picture with you <laughs> Oprah we want the picture and then they would say he'll be here ma'am he's coming in a half hour no ma'am I'm so sorry he's at a funeral he's at a funeral it's his brother ma'am it's going to be a very long funeral the passport guy yeah yeah, yeah the passport guy so wow. I was sitting on the tarmac literally in Sun City so it wasn't like Joburg big airport it's just a little like one guy in the booth for the passports and he is telling me that he can't let me out but he's what? bringing all of his friends to take pictures. <laughs> when the plane took off, did you run over your assistant? No, I did no. not. <laughs> no, I did not. Libby, you know, I didn't even, she said, oh, I'm so sorry, I forgot your passport. I wasn't even blaming her, because I should have remembered my passport, too. But then, after the seventh hour, I was like, Libby, you should have remembered that passport. <laughs> Absolutely. Poor Libby. I've met Libby. She's nice. Yeah, Jimmy said he keeps a photo of himself with Oprah in his phone at all times to prove he's famous. Yeah. I, I have I, a picture of you in my phone. Thank you. I do of you, yeah. I had, uh, she won't mind that I tell the story. There's a legendary local anchor here who happens to be like my, my sister, Amelia Santanello, Vasilero Santanello. And I, I had worked at her station for a little while. This was right. I, I, I went away for a year from Fox 9 and came back. Anyway, and I was at the Minnesota State Fair with Amelia. And we did this story where we went on all these rides. And Amelia looked at me and she goes, I don't know if I can do this ride. And I went, 
Okay. Well, you don't have to. She says, no, I'll do it. And it was a spinny ride. So this, this is reminiscent of Oprah's story with, you know, people wanting pictures in the middle of turmoil. So I go on this store, I go on this ride with Amelia, and as the ride's turning, I look at my friend, and she is green as my tie. <laughs> and we get off the ride, and I'll leave the gross details off, but Amelia and I are sitting on the bench, and I'm like rubbing her back, and she is now white, like white <laughs> as a sheet. And she's just kind of going like this, and weeble wobbling, and this group of women come out of nowhere, and they're like, can I have a picture? <laughs> And I look at I look at the women and I go, sweetie. I said, um, she is not well. And I go, can you you just give us a moment? And she's like, really? And I go, and I and I pulled the woman aside. I go, she's gonna vomit. Get out. Yeah, I was like, have some manners. Anyway, anyway, yeah, Oprah's pulled what? up the barf. Bar. Yeah, I'm like, wait, can you not look at the woman? She's sweating. She's white. Anyway, Oprah's oh. promoting a primetime special airing on ABC on Monday night. It focuses on the impact of all those weight medications that we're seeing to battle obesity. And she talked to Jimmy about learning from doctors about the obesity gene and how it actually impacts weight loss. Look. Not everybody who eats a lot and shows up with extra weight has that gene or carries that propensity. But if, because it's a big spectrum, it's a spectrum, just like everything is a spectrum. So, but if you do carry it, you will always, always put the weight back on. And so when I realized that, you've seen, you all have seen, I've been in the struggle, I've been in the storm of losing the weight, gaining it back, losing the weight, gaining it back. And what I realized when I listened to what the doctor said, that you are always going to put it back on, and it's like holding your breath underwater and mm. trying not to rise. You're always going to rise. Oh. Right? I mean, that, for women to hear that from her, who have struggled with their weight their whole lives, Publicly. that is really empowering. Yeah. And as someone, not a woman, but as someone who has been very open about, I, I have struggled with weight my whole life. I, I will. If I look at my genes, if I look at my relatives, I, I probably have the gene. It is. It's, 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 you say what you will about Oprah. You may be watching. You're not a fan of her. But I said it before and I'll say it again. If there's anybody that knows about that struggle, it's Oprah Winfrey. Yeah. Uh, and it, we've it, been on that journey with her since she came out on her studio in her black turtleneck and her cute little jeans and, and she was a size six. Yeah, with the wagon. Yeah. She tried. She has tried quite literally every diet imaginable. Yes. Oprah special airs Monday night on ABC. I, I'm I'm curious to watch it because I've been very open. I have thought about the drugs. I have. Not gonna lie, I've I thought about it. I can't say them. I haven't either. Yeah, and I it have, feels I've, like with every grain of my being that I shouldn't, but I'm still open. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. And if I do, I will be very honest and tell you. Of course, Jimmy had to have a little fun with Oprah. He had to confirm. This was a great. I love that he did this with her. What a good bit. Confirm or deny. Oprah rumors. Watch. Is it true that you thank Stevie Wonder for performing Happy Birthday at your 50th by giving him a Rolls Royce? I thought it was a Maybosh or something. Is that the same thing? <laughs> no, that's a different thing, but it's another thing, yeah. I think it's a Maybosh. You gave him that car? That, that's, he said he wanted it. <laughs> He was probably kidding, right? No, he, I mean, he said he wanted he it. He wanted the car? He, and I was like, you're going to drive it? <laughs> and he sent me a video of him driving it. Yes, oh, he did. wow. Yes. Wow. He did. Do you keep a whole octopus in the fridge on a regular basis? Yes. You do? Yes. Why? Stedman loves octopus. Oh, okay. Okay. And he eats it that much, huh? Like for breakfast almost every day. <laughs> that is a strange thing, isn't it? Yeah. It's, that's no, and else. every morning when he's eating it, I say, I believe you're the only person who's having this for breakfast right now. Yeah. You know what it is? It's not just octopus. It's octopus and okra. As a combo? As a combo. He loves things that start with O. <laughs> I mean, that's what he is, right? That's cute. Bravo, Jimmy Kimmel. Bravo, Jimmy.
I mean, he's what do you think of that feet. combo, foodie? Oh, I have had some octopus, and I I actually like it sometimes. I love octopus daily, and for breakfast, those tentacles are real chewy. Yeah, they're just like I, I, I love I, sediment. I, that's a hard pass on me. Yeah. I'm and not, with slimy okra. I know. Ah. I don't like, but I like a good charred octopus for lunch or dinner. Yeah, but, maybe if but, it's cooked, it has to be cooked just right. Can you imagine opening? Oprah's refrigerator, her Frigidaire, and there's, and there's, and there's just this whole octopus sitting there. Yeah. I kind of can. I can I kind too, of actually. Can. Just like every day, she'd look at it. I think it's pretty great. Other Oprah rumors. Oprah said she does not have an underground bunker. <laughs> Another Oprah rumor that is true. She did try to buy the L.A. Clippers with David Geffen, and she was planning to be buried under a tree at her home in Southern California until the tree was damaged by severe weather. There we go, yeah. Do you think she'll run for president? Never. Oh, never. darn it. Ever, ever. No, she'll never. Why would, why I in know. the world, if you're Oprah and you have, as to quote Steel Magnolias, she has more money than God. But if you, why would you ever want that hassle? It would just be so fun, though. She would bring levity to the lighthouse, or the White House, the lighthouse. <laughs> She's in the lighthouse she looking for octopus. Levity. That's right. Next up. Next up. <laughs> Next up. Get ready for the Taylor Swift takeover on streaming. You already know this if you have Swifties in your house. The Eras Tour, Taylor's version, is now playing exclusively on Disney Plus, featuring a new version of her hit concert movie. Look. Yep, 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 yep. So, so this version uh, has four extra acoustic songs that was uh, that were cut from the theatrical version. And Disney Plus, girl, they spent, Mickey Mouse spent $75 million. They're doing everything. Look, this is no joke. Look at this. This is the actual homepage for Disney Plus right now. They're using different Swift eras to describe categories of movies and show, like Fearless for movies like The Marvels and Brave, Speak Now for The Princess Bride and Enchanted, and of course, 1989 for movies that, yes, came out in 1989, like The Little Mermaid and Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Like I said, uh, Bob Iger, Mickey, Minnie, Donald, and Pluto gathered all their money, and they spent $75 million uh, for the streaming rights for this. Are you excited? Are you going to watch it? This, you know what? Oh, I'm not going to joke. I didn't see it. Uh, I didn't go to the concert. I, I, I thought that the tweens would scare me, so I didn't go to that. I was poor, so I didn't go. Yeah, and then... Um, <laughs> Sure. Anyway, and then, um, yeah, okay. Wake up, Patrick Duffy. Anyway, uh, yeah. And then, uh, number two, didn't watch it in the theater because I thought the tweens would scare me. Uh, so in the comfort of my own home, I am going to watch this. With yeah. you and the dog, just like... Me and Mr. Big will sit there. Yeah, I mean, we're good. Mr. Big likes uh, Taylor Swift, so we'll watch it, yeah. yeah. I, before he does. I rolled that clip, I was thinking, like, oh, gosh, more. But then we rolled the clip. And it was really well produced, and it made it seem like such a spectacle. I got kind of jazzed about it. And here's what I want to see. We got to, the minute the numbers come out, I honestly want to see, and don't you, I want to know if the subscriber numbers jump for Disney Plus this month. Oh, they totally will. No, That's but why I want to know how much. Million. Yeah, I yeah. want to know by how much and all that money Mickey Mouse is making. Oh, look. And they must have the numbers figured out because it's like, what, $14.99 to subscribe for the month. Then people will cancel after it's over. A lot of people do or people forget. So $14.99 times how many people they bring in, like, they must know what the math is. Plus earned media, publicity. Sure, Think of the publicity sure, sure. you're getting. Time to meet our final JVIP of the week. Meet Christy Wilson from Spring Lake Park, Minnesota. She loves that uh, the crew were real, honest, funny, and family-friendly. Well, until the photographer Eric comes on, but that's fine. Christy also loves the show's content. She gets a Jason Show mug and an enter to win the monthly grand prize. That includes being a VIP guest on her audience, a $150 gift card to Becker Furniture, and a $250 gift certificate to Renew Med Spa. You stay right there. We will be right back. <laughs>
Jenny isn't just sidekicking today. She's also back in her element. Coming up in just a few minutes, she is going to show you a Hanson hack for coloring all those eggs. And then, how about all the eggs you're not going to color for Easter? What are you going to do with them? She has ideas. That and more when we come back. Welcome back, everybody. First, it's a tradition for so many families to dye Easter eggs this time of year. But if the color tablets and vinegar feels like real old fashioned, reach for whipped cream. That's right. <laughs> Joining me now is the host of uh, Taste Buds on Fox Local. Audience, give it up for Stephanie Hansen again. Um, uh, whipped cream? It's going to be so fun. Are you ready for it? I'm ready for it. Okay. Is this a Hanson hack? Well, not exactly, but I have a hack for a little later on. Okay. This is just something fun to do with kids or grandkids, right? So we put whipped cream, and I used Cool Whip, just the cheapest kind I could. You put it in a container. Like a, like a, you're, you're using a pie pan. Yeah, oh, no, no, you I mean also, like a loaf thing. I also did it in a loaf tin, just that, those were the ones I did at home. Okay. So you just kind of like, jump, 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 put a little food coloring in there. Make it all bright and springy. And then, Jason, what you're going to do. Yes, ma'am. Is you're going to just run this little pick through there. Yes, ma'am. I can do that. Kind of mix up the color yeah. a little bit. We're doing a red orange motif yeah, in this I one. I think so. Okay. And then maybe we'll come I back. I like that. Now, these are eggs that I did this morning. What you do is you just roll the hard boiled egg inside this mixture. Really? Yeah. It's super easy. And you do get a little bit of the stain on your fingers, so if you got the real littles and they're sticking their hands all in it. Can't you wear gloves? Yeah, you could. Okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah. No, I wasn't being facetious. I was like, you know, but yeah, yeah. So can you see how I just started it? Oh, and wow. And just rolling it. Oh. And what you do then, we'll just get all I was going to say, but doesn't it have whipped cream still on Yeah, it does. Okay. So we just let it sit. Yeah. I'll just put it over here. Okay. We're just going to let it sit and yes, you let it set up for about 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. Till it kind of dries. And then you just wipe it off and they look like this and they're bright colored. Those are pretty. And they're pretty. Yeah. So we'll just. I, oh, that this. is real pretty. Eric, uh, Leo, take that shot again. Those are really pretty. Yeah. And it's just a fun something different to do with kids. I don't know why. You'd think I have grandchildren. I don't, but I want to really bad. Yeah. Because I just think you would be such a good grandma. Fun. I know. You would be a really I would. You would be like that slightly sassy, nutty <laughs> grandma. You know what I mean? Yes, and I'm gonna let my grandkids do whatever they want to torture my own child. That's, yeah. Like, I'm going to feed them all the bad food, and I'm going to fill them yes. up with sugar and send them home. That's what grandmas, yes. yes. That's what my grandma, my, my grandparents did, yes. Yes, super fun. I watched Love Boat and ate uh, ice cream uh, Sundays at 1030 at night with my 100%, grandma. Yeah. 100% that's what I'm doing. Yes, and had Long John Silvers every weekend, thus yeah. my weight problem. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. you loved your grandma. I love my grandma more than most human beings. Yeah, yeah. see? That's, Both of them. All yeah. right. So we're just going to do one more, and then I just want to talk to you a little bit about hard-boiled eggs. Now, I know we're celebrating the St. Patrick's Day, but Easter's coming. It is. Quicker than you can, yeah. It's because it's coming early this year. Yeah. So you guys, uh, just talk, let's talk a little bit about hard-boiled eggs. Okay. So are you, do you do hard-boiled eggs? Do you, like, start them cold? Do you start them warm? Like, people have all these questions. I will take them anyway. I, I, it's one of my favorite snacks. Me too. And you have told me for years how to make them in your, your beloved Instant oh, Pot. Oh, it's the, but, like, number two reason to buy an Instant Pot. Number yeah. one is rice, because it's a rice cooker. Yeah. Number two is hard-boiled eggs, and number three is everything else. Yeah, I, <laughs> I'll do hard-boiled eggs, but you know what? I don't like the yolk. Oh. I have to take the yolk out. Yeah, I just eat the egg whites. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't need your shame, executive producer Jeff. <laughs> Keep your shame to yourself, warm cookie hater. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Yeah. Okay, but your the dog would like the yolks. Mr. Big? Have you ever fed the yolks to the dog? It's really Mr. good for that. Mr. Big would eat a fourth grader if he could. He doesn't care. He'll eat anything. Yeah, yeah. Okay, here's a little trick. If you're going to start from cold water at home, this is a little Hanson hack. And I'm going to put it up by your ear, okay? 
So there's a membrane inside the egg. And what happens when you cook it in the Instant Pot is that membrane shrinks real quick, and that's why eggs are super easy to peel after they've been in the Instant Pot. But they're harder on the stove, so this is something that you do. You take the small end, and you just tap it with your spoon. Did you hear that? I'm getting whipped cream on your suit. <laughs> Okay, let's do another one, just because your face was so excellent. Can you wipe your hands before you do I that? I did, I did. Okay, ready? You have such a crabby face. <laughs> have a nice Gee, face. I wonder why. Okay, ready? Yes. Did you hear it? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so what's happening is the membrane is detaching inside the egg. And then when you boil them, it, they peel super easy. Like, they just, the skin peels right off. See how fast oh. that goes? Yeah. That is real fast. Oh, yeah, and I have more where that came from, and we come back. Oh. <laughs> roll commercial. I don't have anything else to say. Leo, roll it. Welcome back. More now with uh, Stephanie Hansen. Okay, what's okay. next, my friend? Oh, this is going to be good. Are you ready? I'm ready. So I like to make what I call chopped egg salad, okay? Okay. I like just to, you got all your eggs, I like to just chop them right on the board. Okay. Because I like kind of a rough egg salad, like a little rough yeah. egg salad. So we're taking our pickles. And I've got all the like measurements, but you can do you. How like, rough is this egg salad? It's a little rough. <laughs> yeah. I got a little bit of onions. Usually I like to use chives, but I was out. Okay. It gives it a little subtler onion flavor versus the hard white onion flavor that's a little harsh sometimes. But you can use both of you. Yeah, yeah, a yeah, little yeah. dill, a little parsley. Oh, I'm and, down with everything you're doing right okay, here. Okay, and before we do this, you yes, guys, this is the Hanson hack. Are you ready for it? We are ready for it. If you can see, this is a mason jar upside down. Inside that mason jar is a little teeny tiny juice glass full of water. And the herbs of, the stems of the herbs are in that water inside this little terrarium environment. This parsley has lasted three weeks. What? This mint is going on two weeks. And you can't keep mint in your refrigerator for like more than a day. This is such a good hack. My whole refrigerator is full of like all these jars of, that look like experiments. <laughs> You don't have any human heads in there, do you? Yeah, 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 yeah. No. And so then when you're ready to use it, like yeah. you twist off. Okay, and here's my little jar. And that I'm is such my a out. good idea. Look at it. Yeah. It's fresh. There's your that's your close up oh, there, yeah. Goober. Yeah, it's right there. Fresh. Look at that. So I just <laughs> I figured this one out. I saw something and I was like, wait a second. I'm gonna test this out and it totally works. That is great. Okay. okay, so we just have, I like to chop it on a board. I just put a little Dijon mustard on there. I'm gonna put a little mayonnaise. And the reason I do it on the board. I was just gonna say, why the board? Because I just think it tastes better. It's fun. Okay. I can season it and I can see exactly how chopped it's getting. Oh, versus yeah, yeah, yeah. like if you're in like a food processor or a bowl even, with even. A spoon in a bowl. It goes so fast. Yeah. And then it's not like super delicious. I want it rough. I want to put it on a piece of toast. <laughs> <laughs> well. Are I've, you turning into photographer? I've heard that from you. I've, I've heard yeah. that about you. Yeah, yeah. I just, like, I want to have this on a big piece of rustic sourdough <laughs> and, like, pick it up and just be like, ow, ow, ow. Yeah. Because I love egg salad so much. So there we go. It's just, it's rough chopped. See, it's kind of all mixed in. I can add a little salt. Are you salt. doing this segment for the perverts in our audience? <laughs> Like the top row over there, right there, yeah. Do you I literally said pervert, and back row went like this. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Okay, do you want to try my rustic chopped egg salad? Give it to me rough, girl. Give it to me rough, okay. yeah. 
Here, oh, I, I was no, gonna no, I was gonna, you. Not like a baby bird. Let's not do that. But let's. It's so fun. It's rough. Mm hmm <laughs> Like, good texture, though. Mm hmm Like, I like egg toast. I want, uh, instead of avocado toast, I put egg salad on it. Yes. Here's another little hint. Yeah, if you're eating cheap, and you know, let's just face facts, we all need to eat a little cheap these days. Can of tuna in there also. Boom, boom, boom. Rough chop that tuna right in there. Now you got a tuna egg salad. You have protein for days. I, you know what? This is, this is an A, A plus uh, I know, thingy, but so I like this, simple. yeah. And it seems like so messy and weird, but like, look at, you can really just gauge the texture. It yeah. feels good. If you were putting the tuna in there, you can get it all chopped in and mixed properly. You are right, though. I would put, I would totally put that on like a big, thick oh, yeah. toast. Oh, yeah, big, thick hunk of toast. Yeah, that would be a great lunch. Give it up for Stephanie Hansen, everyone. <laughs> Watch Stephanie's show, Taste Buds, on the Fox local app. You can stream it right now also on your smart TV. It's so easy. That Fox local app is so good. It's like Netflix. And A no new episode came out today with Irish food. So you can cook. We have coal cannon. We have mussels. We have all the things you want. Uh, Irish coffee. Irish mule. Oh, nice. Yeah, so it's all right there. You can stream it. You can find it on YouTube. You can find it on Fox local. It's all ready. And then it'll air on Sunday at 1032. She's rough and ready. It's Stephanie Hansen, everybody. <laughs> After the break. A St. Patrick's Day game with our audience after this. Rough and ready. This was damn good. I better not eat anymore. Welcome back. We are only a few days, a couple days away from St. Patrick's Day, so we thought we'd play a little game testing your luck of the Irish. Leo, activate game time. Here we go, everybody. Playing with us today, we're here in the studio audience. Give it up for Missy and Corey, everybody. Now, we kept it simple because, again, half the audience is drunk today. So that <laughs> we're going to show them a photo of a celebrity behind, you know, like a shamrock or a rainbow, a pot of gold, a leprechaun's butt, everything. Yeah. And you have to guess what it is. Now, uh, this is your noisemaker, and then you just hit the buzzer. Whoever uh, 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 rings in first, you get to try. Now, look at the monitors in front of you. You can look at that monitor up there, uh, and Leo will put them up there. So if you're ready, we're ready. Director Leo. Show us the first hidden celebrity. Corey. Nicole Kidman. It is Nicole Kidman. Yes, it is. There we go. Good work. Missy, Corey's going to be real quick with that. I so know. I would be careful. Have your hands over that. Here we go. Yes. <laughs> okay, Director Leo, show us the next celebrity. Missy. Ryan Gosling. Leo, is it Ryan Gosling? Yes. It is Ryan Gosling. Yes. He's a little harder. <laughs> BB, we're giving this stuff away. Okay, here we go. Let's see the next one. Abbott. Abbott Elementary. Mm. No. Oh. Leo shows who it is. It's Quinta Brunson, Emmy oh. Award winning oh. actress Quinta Brunson oh. from ABC's <laughs> uh, <laughs> Abbott Elementary. Yeah. <laughs> Bibi just said, now it's not so easy, is it? Yeah, mm -hmm. I should have kept my mouth shut. Okay, here we go. Who's that? Corey. Jessica Lange. Show us Jessica Lange. Uh, That's right, Emmy Award winner. Good work. And proud Minnesotan, Jessica Lange. Okay, this one should be easy. Corey. The Rock. Is it The Rock? Yes, right there. <laughs> Sorry. I'm failing. It's and so, fine. You know, Missy, there are no losers here. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, yeah. Okay. Leo, the next one, please. Oh. oh, Missy. Kate Middleton. Is it? That's where she yeah. is. <laughs> Holy crap. We found her. We found yes. We're making international news. We found her. Not photoshopped. That, uh, by the way, that photo, not photoshopped. That was. Uh, <laughs> Where is she? Seriously. <laughs> just show us a picture with a newspaper. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Hands of, uh, just, yeah, here we go. Next one, please. Corey. Is it Lindsay Lohan? Is it? Let's see. Yes, it is. Oh. Lindsay Lohan. Looking good. 
We're in a good era for Lindsay. Okay, we have uh, oh, so, quite a few of them. Here we go. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Corey, share. <laughs> nice mean, work. I mean, if I didn't I get mean, that one. <laughs> yes. The jokes write themselves, everybody. And <laughs> Missy, you didn't have a chance on that one. I, know, I just gotta I like tell it for him. you. Nah, it's, it's fine. It's, it's, I yes, guess, uh, yes. We'll cut someone for that. So, so here we go. Let's see the next one. Oh. Missy. Bruno Mars. Let's see. Bruno Mars, that's right. Hawaii's very own. Started mm -hmm. at the Royal Hawaiian Hotel. Uh, let's see here. Oh, this is a good one. Who's that? Oh. Corey. Billie Eilish? Is it Billie Eilish? No, Sydney Sweeney. Oh. She just hosted SNL from White Lotus. Oh. Okay. Now, Leo, hold your horses, Leo. <laughs> Missy, yeah. just hold that in your hand, okay? Because okay. this is... No, no, Corey, because this is going to go real fast. Leo, show us. Corey, who's that? Eliza Minnelli. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> if, I, if Corey wouldn't have gotten that right, he would have been asked to head to headquarters right. immediately <laughs> after the show. I'd have to give my toaster you, back. You got it. You got to give the toaster oven back. There we go. Let's see this next one. Okay, go ahead, Leo. Who's that? Cor uh, Missy. Uh, is it Reba McIntyre? Let's see. Is it Reba? I don't think so. I it is Reba. Know. That's new hair. Missy. It's a little different. It's a little different. Missy, have confidence. Sorry. <laughs> this is last the last one. one. All right, all right, Here we go for you. the win. Corey. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. Let's see if it is. It is. Yep. There we go. Good work, Corey. They both Thank did you. great. Thank you, Swabby. Thank you. They're both going home with a season nine Jason Show mug. Give it up for Corey and Missy, everybody. We'll be right back. Back after this. Thank you, Thank sweetheart. You. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, stay here. Welcome back. By the way, uh, you know what happens when Miss America, you know, if there's a scandal or they can't complete the reign, they get the crown taken away? Well, unfortunately, you know, Corey won that game, uh, but we found out during the break that he agrees with executive producer Jeff, and, and he too hates warm cookies. So, unfortunately... <laughs> So unfortunately, uh, uh, Corey is the loser and Missy's the winner now. That's right, yeah, that's right. Yeah. How dare you agree with Jeff? Anyway, uh, we're so happy, uh, really. It means the world to us. Uh, you know, this is season nine. Uh, in season nine, the Jason Show started airing in 11 different markets across the country. Uh, and if you have relatives in all these, we like to remind you where we are. Here they are. There's a good list for you. You guys were asking for this, so we put this up there. Uh, Duluth, Rochester, the Twin Cities, La Crosse, Eau Claire, Madison, and Wisconsin. Our dear friends, Sioux City, Iowa, Cedar Rapids, Iowa, Chicago. Hi, Chicago. Uh, Seattle. And, of course, of course, my second home of Orlando. Be sure to let your friends in these cities know when and where they can watch our show. We'll be right back, back in a moment. Today, oh, it was so fun. It was Frisky Friday. It, <laughs> well, no, it really, no one declared that until you just did. Oh, yeah. But like Fridays, you feel all fresh and fun and festive and frisky. It's like the weekend's coming. Yeah, especially when you have perverts in the audience up there. I mean, yeah, I mean, look, again, uh, uh, I love that. Thank you, Leo, for taking a shot of the pervert <laughs> row. There we go. Give it up for the pervert just row, everybody, right there. <laughs> there. 
they're, they're just here for the dirty jokes. That's here. They're all here for, and you you filled in. You know. Thank you. No, seriously. Thank you for filling in last yeah, minute. I, I really appreciate Feel it. Feel better, Kendall. Feel better, Kendall. We hope you do. Yeah. Uh, and next week, there are tickets available for our show. Come see us. All you have to do is go to eventbrite.com and search for The Jason Show and uh, pick your day. They're free. You're in at 930 Central. You're out by 1130, and we have a great time. Hey, Monday, she's beautifully birthmarked. We're sitting down with a makeup artist from Instagram who's embracing what makes her different, which is basically the theme of our show. And speaking of that, thanks for watching this week. Thanks for hanging in with us. If you are watching and you're a kid that's being bullied, you go out there and be yourself because nobody can tell you you're doing it wrong. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later, everybody.